All right, I'm checking in one more time because a lot of you, a lot of you have been friends with me for a long time and you know about all the madness that kind of happens in my life. Good madness, doll madness, doll world stuff. <clears throat> but if you're new here, there was one part of my shop that I didn't show you that I'm going to be showing the doll ladies in a second. The doll ladies are in the back right now looking at the the area that we do a lot of the work with Linda and stuff like that. But up in the front is the catacombs. And it's so funny because I'll sit here and I'll be like, oh, we need bodies, we need clothes, we need outfit, clothes, we need fabric, we need accessories, we need all these things. I sit here and I'm like, we're out of everything. We need everything. And then sometimes I come up in the catacombs and it calms me down. So I'm going to show you. And the catacombs are, it's, it's our stash. It's basically our, um, it's our stash of, of our stuff. So the thing about being a doll shop is you can get a body or a head or whatever and you don't have the other parts and so you got to hold on to them until you get the right one and if you guys understand what that's like give me an amen because you have to have a stash if you have a stash tell me about it I want to know if you guys have a stash and what your stash is so some of us stash fabric some of us stash clothes some of us stash bodies I have a stash of everything and I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you all right, you guys ready? Here's a part of my stash. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of the stash. So if ever there is a time that you feel like you've got too much of a stash or that you are not normal because you your doll room, I don't know, looks like this. Now, this some of these fell over and we didn't just in my madness of getting everything together for the virtual convention we I need to pick them up and to like literally organize so it doesn't usually look like we had an earthquake but you know it's fine it's fine so here's the doll stash hi guys yes lots of doll everything for sure I'm sorry some of you guys haven't been feeling well. I've seen that a lot in my feed. Whoever hasn't been feeling well, I hope you guys feel well very soon. And I also hope that sometimes my live feeds brighten your day and make you feel a little bit better just by hanging out with me. So I really appreciate it. So here's my stash. Look at this, you guys. Odd hats, hats, primitive and small, flannel underwear, baby long johns, Ethnic shirts, oh my gosh. Medium bonnets, large bonnets, knit clothes for dolls. I mean, it just goes on and on. So, you're normal. This is normal. This is normal. I don't even care about being normal though. I don't even know what normal is. I don't think anyone is normal. I think we're all unique and we all have our own gifts and our own things. But a lot of times we are made to feel like when, if this kind of lifestyle is not normal and it is, it just is. So if anyone has ever you know, said to you, this isn't, show them the video. Because Rachel Grace Marie Hoffman out in Denver, Colorado is out here doing living the life, doing the dang thing, running a doll shop. And I'm telling you, it's normal. Look at these bonnets. I love you guys. It's so fun hanging out with you. Oh, thank you, Angie, for saying that we are so organized. You know, we are sort of, we are and then we aren't. But we know, you know how things can be completely disorganized, but I know where everything is. That's how this, that's how it is. Everything is, but I know where everything is. So here is the catacombs. It is normal for any doll people. Yes, you guys, it so is. I mean, but it's been a while since we've hung out at the doll shop together. And 
like this. We usually do the doll shop show where we do a lot more repair, but Linda is on a break this week because, well, she's not on a break. She's teaching. Laura said, normal means living by someone else's standards. I prefer healthy. Yeah, I love that. I don't even like the word normal because I just, I think it carries this connotation that you have to conform to whatever society thinks is what you should be doing. And I just think everyone should just live their life and do whatever makes them happy, no matter what it is. So if you want to go live in a, you know, van by the river and do odd jobs and cook fish that you caught, then for your lifestyle, fine. If you want to go and do like, I just think that it, as long as you're not... As long as you're staying in your own lane and doing your own thing, you know, go do it. I am. I don't know. These are just some wonderful dolls that we just have kind of hanging out, getting ready to go. Hey, everybody. Yeah. You know why I show this thing? And there's, a, there's probably people that are watching that are thinking, why would, why would she show this? Like, why, why would she show this? madness or whatever but it's not um it's normal bye stanley see, see ya it's normal and that's why i show it because i think it gives other people permission to just be themselves and to just have fun with it and if anything you don't need permission maybe you're just like it's just fun to see other people's stuff and to see how other people live and run their lives and their businesses and things like that i just think it's fun so that's why that's why I show it in all of its glory, even if it needs dusted or whatever, you know, this is where I used to take a lot of pictures. I don't take as many pictures there now. I take a lot of pictures outside, but you know, it's all dolls all the time. Wendy says, my daughter, Thank you for encouraging me in my dreams. Yeah. Heck yeah, you guys. I'll always be your number one cheerleader. Um, I've had people tell me that they had the courage to like do all kinds of things, like go and get a haircut or do things that they have been putting off because they see me doing it. And I just love that. So, you know, if there's ever... A time that you guys feel like you're not on the right path or doing the right thing. I feel like that a lot too. It, life is just like that for everybody. But come to my page because we just have fun over here. And it's just all about living life and having some fun. Here's some fun little... See, we do teddy bears and all kinds of like stiff animals and things like that. We like it all. We like it all. I think the doll ladies are in the back now. Let's see what they have to say. Discussing. What are we discussing? We're discussing the difference in our bisque and the antique bisque. Okay. And there's a different look. <laughs> and it's hard to explain what kind of a look that is until you, you see it. Ours is a, a finer look, and this is more... This is just a prettier look. And, you know, we're so picky, perfect. And it, as doll makers. I, as doll makers. And then you, we look at these beautiful works of art, and that's not perfect. That's you know? not perfect. That's sort of a, you know, we would have a, it, we would have a cow. I'd have some students say, no, I can't, I can't leave it that way. It's too messy. Okay, so what's messy about it? You know, the way oh, they the set inside? the eyes in that. Mm -hmm. But look at, there's more of a creamy, um, look on their porcelain ours is too fine too perfect okay and i think that is really the key for me and that's what makes these dolls pretty is I mean, that they're not perfect and not so they're beautiful they're works yeah. of art 
Can we hold for thing? Academy. I, I, I'm trying. Oh to... yes. Oh, we're you guys. We got all kinds of fun things in the works. I'm like, what is Academy? We're doing. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna like launch it right now, but we're we're having a vir we're doing a virtual doll uh, repair Academy and it will be launched in 2020. So that's gonna be very exciting. And you can even get, you know how they were talking about um, graduating and stuff? You, you, you're even gonna get a certificate. But we'll go into that a lot more fully on a, on a different day when the curriculum is all worked out. But um, it will be filmed here and then also at Linda's Doll Making School. And you guys, it's all happening. It's all happening. So they're here, they're learning. Okay, but look at the difference in the color. Yes. Okay, there's, and the remember eyes. what I said about the tops of the heads? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's any doubt? What do you guys think? They're, they're amazing, oh, wonderful. beautiful. It's absolutely <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> I think there's nothing like the hands on. Are you on taken standing. by surprise a little bit? Always. <laughs> this, is, always. this is my third trip here. Well, it's always wonderful and to see always. antiques. Yeah. The original. Right. So. We love it all. We love it all. We love the antiques. We love the artist, you know, reproductions. We love everything. I'm going to show you guys. See, they're over there learning. Isn't that nice? I just... When people can come in here and learn, I'm like all, always for it. Like, come and learn. You guys know I'm always trying to teach you on videos. But when you can see and touch and feel something too, there's nothing like that kind of instruction as well. So... Angie says, girl, I don't know when you ever sleep. Um, I do, but I have been getting up early at about 5.30 and getting all my work done before I come to work. So I've been doing double work, and it's been really, really, really good. I've been getting a lot of stuff done. I've been calling it, calling it my miracle morning. I read a book actually called Your Miracle Morning, and it what has it's motivating me to get going, get going and do my miracle morning early. Oh, she's looking for a pate to fit it. So the the doll students are here and they're getting they're getting ready. But I think um, I think because you guys love our doll repair videos so much, I think it's really important to have a virtual doll repair academy. And so I think it's going to be a really exciting and accessible thing for everybody. I want to go see your doll museum. Oh, Hannah, we'd love to have you here. That's another thing that is in the on my bucket list is to open a little museum. Not a big museum, but like a little museum. We have a very big shop here, and I think if we renovated it and made it made really good use of the space because we have a lot of space here, we could open a little museum. And uh, I think it would be really good. Sharon said, I, I do the Miracle Morning also. Yeah, isn't it just so good doing the Miracle Morning? And so the Virtual Doll Academy is going to be fun. And you're going to get your own certificate and everything. It's going to be so awesome. See, they're over there learning. Don't you wish you could just... Isn't that nice? They're there with their instructor. Uh, your store is a museum. Yes. Well, thank you so much. But it's a little bit different because... Well, it's a little bit different. I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep it as a store. See, it's it's kind of a museum where everything's for sale. Almost everything. A couple of my things here are not things that I love and are just permanent members of our establishment. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us a little bit today. It's um, been a while since we got to have these conversations and I got to see you and stuff. Next week, we will be back with our doll shop show where we will be doing more doll repair, working on that brew, doing stuff like that. So right now they're learning the difference between 
German and French bisque, like the quality of the bisque, the color of the bisque, things like that. They're learning a lot back there. Okay. Uh, have a good evening. Thank you for tuning in. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. And, oh, Murray. Let's see if you guys, he's wondering where I am. Do you guys see him right there? Mursky. Merlin. Where's my Merlin? Oh, he's getting his engine started. So what he's doing, you, and he, he won't jump off the chair, believe me. He stays on this chair. But if I'm not sitting on the chair, he gives me about a good hour before he starts barking. Okay, he's getting his engine started. He's getting his engine started. He's getting ready. Merlin. Merlin. Murray, come here. Come here. All right. Oh, 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 he's just barked. Oh, I got him. I got him. Here. All right. Here's our Merlin. He's got an appointment next week with Charlene at the Clip and Curl. Huh. They love you. They love you, Mur. You're our you sweet little heart poodle. All right, guys. That was fun. I'll see you soon with more updates and all the stuff that's going on. So I had a blast with you today. Bye.